Let's get it popping. Pit boys. Oh my gosh, more DLC. Look at all this stuff. All right, I need to put my. How do I? No, that's not what I wanted at all. I don't want to kill this robot, please. Uh, can we not do this? Uh, right mouse button is to return. Yeah, let's go ahead and return from that. I need to a uh, quick do a little scan over the controls just to kind of understand what I'm doing here. So blah blah blah. Activate block is left alt. Uh, reload sneak run. Uh, always run is caps lock. Auto move jump. Change view. Um, so there isn't a way to lower my weapon, I suppose. I thought there was, but apparently there's not, so. Whatever, we're gonna go see old Sunny Smiles here. Did it say anything about hotkey or whatever? I could have swore. Maybe I just used the number pad? Let's try that. Does that work? No. No, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to weapons. Let's select one of these. No, that's not how you do that. Oh, wait, there we go. That's what it is. It's not the number pad. Wait, can I use numlock and then... No, apparently that doesn't work. So I gotta use the top numbers up here. So that kinda bleh, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna put those on one. Those are one, right? There we go. Uh, we'll put the machete on three. So I can have that whenever I want. Shotgun. Apparently two is just like perma-occupied by binoculars. I guess. I don't know. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm starting to get this, starting to get that. Oh, wow, that's only got two shots. So bad. Anyway, here we go. Let's go and two. I think I got to go in the saloon here and talk to Sunny. S oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. I thought it was open. What time is it? Uh, does this tell me? Can I not see the time on my Pip-Boy here to tell what time it is? Oh, there we go. It is 8.40 a.m., so they should be open. Dang it. They're open 24 hours. It says right there. I was just trying to use the wrong door. Whoopsies. Rookie mistake, I know. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, that's great. Okay, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. I don't really want to go through the tutorial thing, because I remember doing this, and you just got to, like, yeah, kill lizards and stuff. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Yeah, they shot me in the Meet face. Me outside, you know, no big saloon. deal. Happens to everyone, right? Ooh, she wants to meet behind the saloon, hey? <laughs> all right. Um. Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna rob all kinds of stuff here. I don't want sunset sarsaparilla or sars sparsparilla, something like that. I gotta get used to E being the exit button instead of in Oblivion where it's tab. Sub dude. Alright, you look pretty happy. Whatever. We're going to go. Oh my god. Look at that ram. Where'd you go, Sonny? Hey, there you are. There he is. Dang, look at that freaking ram. It's huge. Yeah. See the Sasper oh man. On the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Dude, this thing is freaking scary looking. Holy crap. I kind of want to shoot it, but I think I'll probably piss everyone off, and I don't really want to do that. So, <laughs> I'll avoid that for now. Why are... This does not seem safe. You're having me shoot towards the building. The populated, open 24-7 bar. That's the right idea. Yeah. I know, I'm awesome. Here, I'm gonna... Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, I can't... Okay, that's pretty inaccurate. I can't seem to hit... Can't seem to hit one with hip fire, so... Ooh, and I missed again. What in the world? This rifle sucks. Alright, motherfucker. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Hey, they are sarsaparilla. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Darn critters. You You're darn sure. Uh, actually, I think I've learned enough. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. Thanks. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. The town mom. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. 
Oh, <laughs> well, you have fun with those geckos. I'm gonna... Yeah, there we go. That one bottle was just a tricky, tricky bottle there. Anyway, I guess I gotta go meet the town mom here. Hey, Cheyenne. How you doing, puppy? Hey, puppy, puppy. wonder if I can get a clat here. Let's line it up. Let's line it up. Dog? Quit. I'm trying to get a freaking clat here. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, here we go. What? It only goes through one. That's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Whatevs. Okay, so I guess I got to go back into the uh, the saloon here. Go meet my moms. Hey, that's sunny. This town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Who the heck is this guy? Why is he threatening people? What the hell's your problem, bud? What do you want? Wow, you're a freaking dick. What was that you said to Ringo or about Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Oh yeah. Uh, what say I help you take over this town? This area is your territory? Question mark. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Well, aren't you just tough? Aren't you just tough, buddy? What were you in prison for? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, what a cool guy. What a cool guy he is. Hey, baby. Hook me up with some of that well, sarsaparilla. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Well, show me what you have for sale. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Uh, let's go with this first. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes about into a week town. Ago. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Oh, well, where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. The Powder Gangers? Chang Gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. <laughs> Who it was thought? a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Well, this sounds great. This sounds fantastic. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Okay, well, never mind. I want to talk about something else. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Oh, boy. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Well, I don't know if you know Dirty Dan, but I don't think he messes with no Powder Gangers. Uh, so I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I'm trying to track down the people that who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Oh, you poor thing. I don't care about your radio. Where do those guys go? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Uh-huh, why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where are they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, what were you arguing with? You know, the robot that rescued me, here we go. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. 
It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Wow, you don't like robots? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Uh, what does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. He just likes me. Okay, uh, never mind. Let's talk about Fine something by else. Me. Uh, I think we're done here. Does Good Springs get many visitors? Yeah, okay. Be careful out there. So, first order of business, I think I'm going to go talk to old Ringo, see what he's all about, and decide whether I want to help him or if I want to help uh, the other dude, you know, get him. So, we're going to look at my old pit boy here. Data, that's not what I wanted. I actually wanted, um, wait, is it what I wanted? Yeah, it is, okay. Quest, here we go. All right, Ghost Town Gunfight, offer to help Ringo deal with the Powder Gangers. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Good job, game. Uh, all these are extra credit things, so that's great. Or uh, DLC, I mean, <laughs> not extra credit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, oh, I want to actually uh, equip that rifle. Where'd that go? Sturdy Caravan Shotgun. Is that the one I have? Yeah, I think it is. That I already have equipped or whatever. So where the varmint rifle, I guess I'll just uh, use this. Uh, we'll go with five. Go with five there. Perfect, okay. So now I can, you know, whip back and forth, kind of like my hair. And I need to go this way, actually. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to go talk to those yaks or whatever they are. I wonder if you could actually hit those birds. That'd be kind of funny. Be kind of hard. You probably have to have some kind of rifle with a scope. Anyway, we're gonna go up to the gas station here and talk to old Ringo, see what he's all about. If he's not a total douche, I'll probably help him, cause I don't really want to help the powder gangers too much. I mean, Dirty Dan's all about honor and honesty, so I don't think we need to help a bunch of crazy criminals. Door to the Good Springs gas station. That's close enough. Okay, Ringo. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. I'm just looking around. If you're going to shoot, you better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? I really don't want to play. Uh, did you know there's a man named uh, Joe Cobb looking for you? Uh, can you tell me anything about Good Springs or the rules of caravan? I'm going with this. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Uh, what are you doing about the... What are you going to do about the powder gangers? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Uh, maybe I can help. You need a hired gun. I'm available, yes. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. The Crimson Caravan? It'll have to do. What now? I don't need payment. I'll consider it. Yeah, we're going to go with we this. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. All right. Well, we got ourselves a deal here, buddy. A gentleman's agreement. Turpentine, new. Why are all these boxes empty? Doctor's bag. I guess I'll take that. I don't really know what use that is, but it might have some stuff in it. Got some ammo in here. Got some sarsaparillas. I'll take a. I'll take a couple of those actually. I carry 220 pounds. That's pretty good. More sarsaparilla? You kidding me? Those do health, right? Um, effects plus two HP. Okay, yeah. So, I'll just get as many of those as I can there. Stim pack. Just because I can chug those bad boys whenever I get shot in the face, inevitably, again. Take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Okay, that's great. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. What is this? Lad's life? Oh, survival plus 10. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, 20 gauge round, I'll take those, I can make ammo with those, let's read that book while I can here, um, misc, where is that book, 
that I picked up. What in the world? Oh wait, that was it. Lad's life. Wait, was that a? That wasn't a book. That was like some kind of. <laughs> that was some kind of medicine. I thought it was a book. Oops. Anyway, we're gonna go talk to old Sunny again. Old Smiles, and um, hopefully she'll join our cause. Is this the robot that I'm, everyone's talking about? Let's speak with the robot. See how it's going. Hey, buddy. Howdy, Victor. Partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Well, thank you kindly. Are you decent in a fight? I could use more firepower if you have any. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Let's thank Don't him first. It. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Yeah, okay. Uh, how did you happen to find me? Did you know who those men were? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. <laughs> rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Okay, so he doesn't really know anything that I need. Uh, I've never seen a robot like you before. Uh, are you decent in a fight? Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their <laughs> legs soon enough. Oh, uh, Victor is awesome. I like Victor. Uh, how'd you happen to find me? Okay, well, Happy trails. we got him on our side, I think. I think that's what that means. 